Jumping with horses is a very exciting and uplifting thing to do, not just for the rider, but I dare say for the horse as well. I used to think that training horses to jump is something to be left to experts. But if you approach it carefully and slowly, you can train your horse to jump safely and confidently and with a minimum of equipment. There you go, all sorts of jumping, aren't you? Well done. The one important thing is that you need to be a confident rider who has learned to jump on an experienced horse. Don't try to teach an unexperienced horse to jump if you're learning yourself. This is not fair to the horse and unsafe for you. This video is not about how to learn to jump as a rider, but how to teach your horse to jump. My way of training a horse to jump turned my horse Flora into a confident and happy jumping horse as a result. I found the best way to start is from the ground, in a fenced-in area. If you're familiar with join-up work and have done the basics of it with your horse already, that means your horse accepts you as the leader and follows you without lead rope, you can start like I did. Just let your horse follow you walking over a pole. This way she is not forced and has the choice to stop or walk around it if she is unsure. If she trusts you, she will follow you with a bit of encouragement. This exercise introduces the concept of going over an obstacle rather than around it. Also try this at a trot. I find at this stage it makes sense to switch to lunging the horse, that is driving her around you in a wide circle with a long line, the lunge line, attached to her head. This way I'm in control of how fast she goes over the pole. The aim of this exercise is to get the horse to have to think about where her legs are in relation to the pole and how to lift them so that she doesn't trip. You might be surprised, but there are plenty of horses out there who have very little awareness of their own legs, especially when they are young. As jumping is all about body coordination and rhythm, it is essential that the horse first learns to move just their body consciously and precisely over an obstacle before having to do this with the rider. Practice in walk, trot and canter. When the horse is happy to go over the pole, Raise one side so that she has to make a bigger step to get over it, or might even do a small jump. Always let her do this exercise approaching from both sides. It seems that horses find it difficult to transfer their learning and apply what they've learned on one side of their body to the other without actually physically doing it. When you're both happy with this, try and raise the pole on the other side as well. Obviously it is important that the pole can fall off the stand easily, so the horse doesn't get hurt. Then a bit higher again, but only a little bit, just enough so that she can't easily step over the pole, but actually has to jump now. The main thing is to build confidence in the horse, so it is important not to be tempted to try to get her to jump higher and higher straight away. If she experiences jumping over low things as something fun and playful, and feels well able for it, she will most likely happily jump over higher things before too long. This is all condensed for this video. In reality, you can expect this to take up to a month. When the horse is happy going over the pole in the arena and does not hesitate or avoid the jump, it is time to ride her. I move into our field now because there is more space for Flora to approach the jump at a canter when she's ready. But if you have a bigger arena than ours, you might want to stay there for the next step. Again, slowly let the horse check out the jump and walk and trot and when she's ready she will offer a jump. Then she is ready for a higher jump but again take it easy, 50 centimeters is plenty high for a learning horse. Quite a bit higher. 50 centimetre at the most. You can do it, Flora. Sometimes she may knock the pole, but don't tell her off. She is still learning and working how to move her body over the jump with the rider's weight on top. What happened then? She didn't lift her hind leg. 
The main things are to approach the jump in a straight line, to keep her forward going, to cover a nudge with your heels when it is time for takeoff, and to keep her going after the jump, and of course, praise her for her attempts. It will take a horse quite some months to really get confident carrying a rider over a jump and canter accurately. They have to learn to pace out their steps right so that they don't take off too early or too late. I found it a great help to join a local show jumping league where jumps are set up in a safe arena. The poles easily fall off the jumps if the horse touches them, which is important to avoid injury to her legs. When you are confident that your horse will happily jump over most things in her way, you might want to try some cross-country jumps. We have use of the cross-country course of our local riding stable, a spectacular place to ride. Cross-country obstacles are solid, either out of wood or tyres, plastic, metal or soil. They don't collapse if the horse knocks them with her hoofs, so you should be confident that the horse will be able to jump them, as knocking them with her legs might hurt or frighten her. If there are jumps that your horse hasn't seen before, give the horse a chance to look at the jumps first. This way she won't be startled and will approach the jumps more confidently. And then go and have some fun. From start to finish, it took me and Flora about a year to get to jumping 80 centimeters or so. Flora very quickly got the idea of jumping obstacles being a fun and satisfying thing to do. I nurtured her willingness to get it right and now she is a great partner carrying me happily over all sorts of things put into our way. This is Flora as a foal five years ago. Hasn't she come a long way? I hope this video helps all the riders amongst you. Thanks for watching.